So Nick Henry asks about only doing questions for USMLE prep versus also should we incorporate written resources as well? He says, I have friends who are only doing questions. He says, this is very daunting, the idea of it. Can you make a short video on this? Okay, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for USMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now, how about I address the fucking question, which was about, should you only do questions when studying for USMLE? Is it mandatory that you incorporate written resources? The answer is, of course, it is not mandatory that you incorporate written resources. Because if you think about it, if you do a QBank, that is, let's just say, 2,400 questions, even though UWorld is superfluous as fuck and is up at 3,800. I'm just giving an example. If you do a QBank that's 2,400 questions, and each question has an explanation that is two-thirds of a page in length, that therefore means going through the QBank, you're essentially reading the equivalent of a 1,600-page textbook, and it's taking you at least one to two months to do that, right? So people romanticize this uh, antiquated notion of reading things uh, in hard copy, and that's fine. But recognize that in 2021, whether you read things on a screen, if you read explanations that follow a question, or whether you're just reading straight from a textbook, information is exactly the fucking same, okay? So it's, it's advantageous, I think, that we can just pretty much study for the U.S. Simile actively uh, through questions, okay? Now, if you choose to incorporate written resources, obviously, there's my high-yield PDFs that are for free on my website that are fucking excellent. We obviously have first aid that's been used for many years, obviously. And when we talk about prep for 2CK, that gets a little bit more tricky because 2CK focus should be predominantly on questions. Once again, there are my PDFs. First aid sucks for 2CK. And when we talk about individual rotations, there are occasional side resources that can be used. But overall, my point is that if your concern is that which originates from should I be reading actual hard copy written resources in addition to questions, the answer is it's not mandatory. No, okay? You can get by with just doing lots of QBank and the NBMEs, and that is sufficient in 2021, okay? Obviously, I can make a lengthy clip on this. I'll keep things concise. You know the deal. I'm going to continue putting out more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.